Hey everyone, it's Dietrich and I'm here to talk to you guys about different ways that you can use our platform to capture leads. All right, so as we pride ourselves at being one of the most complete um, internet marketing platforms on the market, all right, we want to kind of own up to that um, by offering you plenty of ways to capture leads and funnel people into your website. All right, so I'm just going to go through a few of our options here by starting over in our templates. Um, now we actually have templates built specifically with the task in mind of capturing leads. All right, so if we go here to the new website and for instance go into our two-step opt-in pages and we'll see we have a bunch of different templates for you to kind of go and choose from. And what we're going to do is just select on this one. All right. And it's going to bring up this page. All right, now you can go back if you like what you see or you like the basic layout, go back and edit that. We, of course, have tons and tons of tutorials to kind of walk you through the process, but this is what it does. Okay, so as we click on this button here, it's going to, that's going to be our first step. Um, our second step is going to be the client then fills out the email, their name here. Um, you can change these if you want, but this is a two-step process. Once they ask for more information, um, they're pretty much on your list from that get-go, I mean, from that um, point going forward. All right, now uh, what we're going to go to is we have different opt-in squeeze pages as well. Um, these are going to work in a similar way. Um, this is kind of um, working people into your funnel. Um, I won't go into these in particular, but I will go into the smart opt-in pages. And what these allow you to do is give you a better chance at gathering the correct email. What I mean by that is that although we have tons of different Facebook integrations to help you gather people information there um, and elsewhere, um, Chances are a lot of people or some people um, in general just don't put the correct email or their business email contact on their Facebook, okay, for whatever reason. So what we're going to do here with this smart opt-in is I come and choose, actually I have one made already, go here, I'm going to use this one here, um, which is going to be a button, and as we click on this button, if we access from our mobile device, like our cell phone, it will pull up our cell phone, either our, our cell phone number or the email that's connected to our cell phone's number so that we can put that into our mailing boss list or just gather it in our own email contacts. Okay, we can also do it if somebody's accessing from a desktop computer. Um, if they're linked to their mail client, we can go ahead and send an email directly there. So let's say I'm here accessing from this computer. I want to ask for more information. I'm going to click on this button and it's going to pull up my mail client for me. Okay, and all I'm going to do is kind of write in the email. It has some pre-loaded content here that we've made ourselves. Um, once again, there are tutorials that show you how to do this, um, but this is it, smart opt-in. So I'm just gonna um, X this out and save. Um, now, I would recommend using this for um, just about any website that you have if you're selling product or if you're trying to get um, build a list very, very quickly, okay? All right, now um, let's go over to our Facebook integrations and just touch on the fact that you can actually make Facebook apps um, come here. Um, let's say I don't have any new apps here. So let's say we come and make a new app. What this allows us to do is to send notifications directly to people via their Facebook notifications um, while also gathering that information and putting it in, into our mailing boss tool. All right, so once we do that, we can come over here to notifications, create new notifications, and send them directly out to people. All right, so they can click on those links as well. We can get really, really creative with that. All right, we also have intelligent posts um, which allow you to create videos um, that would, would preferably um, very enticing content. Okay, what this is going to do is kind of draw in your crowd. Once you draw in your crowd, you can stop the message or you can stop the video at whatever point, let's say 10 seconds in, 30 seconds in, and have a contact form pop up. They have to put in their name and their email or whatever you need to gather in order to continue watching that video. All right, so we have tutorials on that as well and other videos that kind of highlight that feature. Um, now here's a cool one here. Um, we have a Facebook leads capture tool. All right, this is a Facebook scrape. All right, so you can take from 20 to 50 to 100 different um, people or different um, points of contact, and we're gonna try and pull them by keyword. Okay, so this is going to randomly pull content based on the keywords. Okay, it may not be full um, as far as having all the information that you need, but this is just based off the information that that person put onto their page. All right, so let's say I'm looking for entertainers, um, entertainer in New York. Okay, and I go to scrape. Now what's going to happen is we're going to get their Facebook ID. Um, this is just a number one through 20. Okay, this is a, a name and a link to their actual Facebook page. So if I want to come here to 
the New York Public Library, I can click there and go directly to their Facebook page um, very, very simply and quickly, kind of check them out if I want them on my list. Um, and that's going a little slow because of my internet connection um, here. Um, but if I want them on my list, check them out. They're cool. Um, I can go ahead and download this entire thing at the bottom by clicking on export. It's going to download in the CSV file. Um, but as you can see, I have their phone numbers here um, if they provide it, their email here if they provide it, and also their website address. I can check them out here. Um, now, um, sometimes we are able to pull up their likes. I'm just going to depend on how you use your keywords with the Facebook scrape. Yeah.